All right, let's get into a live Q&A here. Make sure that you're using hashtag Raiders. And if you love daily videos, and if you love news, rumors, and free Raiders gear, hit that sub button. Turn on those notifications, you know, every single time we're going live. And I said we're doing a giveaway. The first giveaway today is a face mask. This one's from Raider Nation Store, and this is from my dude Josh. A shout out to my man Graf on, uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Took this picture. So this is the face mask that I'm going to be giving away in about, uh, we'll say, 10 minutes. The only way that you can win it is if you're subscribed. So if this is the first time you've watched the show and you have never seen us before, hit sub, join the live shows, join the daily videos, and have a chance to win a face mask. Sound good? Cool. Let's get into the first question here from my man, Kenny. What up, Kenny? Appreciate the super chat. Mitch, love the show. Thank God Raiders didn't sign Apple. He's damaged goods. Be safe, buddy. I, I agree. I mean, if you could tell me right now, and you guys can get your votes in, would you rather have Darius Randall for three point five million or whatever it is, three point two five, or Eli Apple for six? I mean, it's it's not even close in my opinion. I think I think Randall is such a better player, and he's so much more of a Raider, and he's not a crybaby in my opinion like Apple was. Will I miss the depth? Yes. Do I wish that Apple was on the team in terms of depth? Absolutely. But I mean, I'm looking in the comments right now. Steven, I mean, everyone I, out, out to house presents. I mean, it's Randall. It's easy, right? So, Kenny, appreciate the super chat. Let's go to the next super chat from my man, Jorge Alvarez. Hey, Mitch, would Jacksonville take Furl, Jackson, and a third for Ngakwe? This is actually really interesting. So Cleveland Furl, the player that we drafted at number four overall last year, gave Jackson and a third for Yannick Ngakwe. Oh, man. So right now the Jags have like 14 picks, I believe, in this year's draft. And Yannick Ngakwe is an unhappy camper. I mean, you guys might not like what I'm going to say, but that's probably a trade. I would make. So Yannick Ngakwe is only 25 years old. He's had 37 and a half sacks his first four years in the NFL. And nothing against Cleveland. I like Cleveland a lot. He's just not as talented as a player like Ngakwe. My fear with Gabe Jackson is that we're not going to be able to trade him and we're just going to end up cutting him to save the money, which, okay. And then for a third round pick, in my opinion, that's basically Cleveland Furl and a third for Yannick Ngakwe, which is something that, yes, I would at least explore. Let's go to Aaron Sosa. What up, Aaron? Appreciate you tuning in, my man. And remember, use hashtag Raiders or you can super chat. So what do we got? If our defense struggles this year, do you see Marinelli taking over as defensive coordinator this season? I said, I want to say on last week's show, that if Paul Gunther struggles, Rod Marinelli is going to be the new defensive coordinator. I think one of the reasons why they brought in Marinelli, and it was had nothing to do with Buck. I think if you ask John Gruden, Buckner did a great job. He just trusts Marinelli to be the defensive coordinator in case Paul Gunther screws up. So Rich Bisacci, who's the Raiders special teams coach, and Marinelli, they were previously with the Cowboys. They were also previously with John Gruden back in 2002 when they won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't think it had anything to do with Buckner. This was just 100% John Gruden trusting his guy, Marinelli, who, I mean, I think we all agree. Do we trust Marinelli, honestly, more than Paul Gunther? Do you trust Paul Gunther to be able to effectively run a defense? No. Aaron, it's a great question. Let's go to Diamond Boy. Get a picture. Can you take a shot for Raider Nation? I told you the way that I take a shot, and it's not so much a me rule. It's a show producer Alicia rule. So she's like, the only way you're taking a shot on today's show it's for a $20 Super Chat or a $20 Venmo. So the Venmo is up there at Mitchell Rens 365. Everything I do is at Mitchell Rens 365. So if you want to see a shot be taken, Super Chat or Venmo. And the reason why we're doing Venmo is because that's how we get 100%. So I'd appreciate the support. Let's go to David. What up, David? Appreciate you watching. Um, we got if Akuda or Tua were to slide down to 12, who would you take? Oh, to me, it's Jeffrey Akuda. Uh, I, I take Jeffrey Akuda in a heartbeat. I, I think Tua is going to be a fun prospect. The only thing that's going to scare me with Tua is right now you can't give players physicals because of this whole big C situation. And Jeff Akuda to me is the best cornerback in this year's draft, going to be a top five pick. And I just think it fills a bigger need. 
I do. Like, I think Tua, if he can stay healthy, is going to be special. No doubt. But Jeff Okuda to me, at our top cornerback position, that would be sensational. That would be sensational. Let's go to the next question here from Anthony Jordan, who needs to get a picture. And let me say this. If you do send in a super chat, you will get a shout out on the show. So I do have it pulled up on my phone. I just got to tell the producers to get the graphic and then bang, you'll be up on screen. So I just want you to know you will get recognized. Let's go to Anthony Jordan. What about bringing back Vontez Perfect on a performance slash availability to play base contract? So I think if he comes back, it would be only like an incentive based deal. However, Vontez Perfect is a veteran. That being said, he gets a veteran minimum deal. So that's like a $1 million contract. I think if he'd be willing to come back for that, it's definitely something I would look into. The only issue with that is you get down there. Yes, the new NFL rules are that we can have 55 players now, but it's going to be one hit, guys. One hit, and he's done for his career. I think if you're the Raiders, you don't really take that risk because you guys know, I know, the Raiders, NFL teams, they're going to be looking for it. And I'm just worried that one kind of bad hit for Vontez Burfick is going to cost him the year. That's something I don't want to see. Something I do want to see is y'all in some new Raiders caps. So we actually sold out of the last ones because you guys bought so many. So good job. And if you want to get this hat, go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat four. Okay. They got hats up to 65% off. So even if this one doesn't, you know, fix your fancy, if you're not a snapback guy, you can go to chatsports.com slash Raiders hat four. You can find a whole bunch of other hats. But this one, if you get it right now, okay, right now while you're watching this live, $28.11. So go rep your team. They got other hats as well. We'll put it in the link, uh, put it in the description below. We'll put it in the comment section below as well. So go out, get a hat. If you guys want me to put other things on the show, if you find cool deals, hey, let me know, okay? That's what the show's all about, making you all happy. Let's go to Hunter with a great last name. What is the surprise trade that the Raiders will do? A surprise trade. Um, They're not trading Derek Carr. Let's just get that out of the way. I think Gabe Jackson is a player that they could look to trade. That's not too much of a surprise. I think an interesting player to monitor would be like a guy like an Arden Key, who he has a lot of talent, and if the Raiders want to move on from him, I think it could be interesting in a trade. And then at wide receiver, maybe like a Zay Jones could be a player that we move on from if we go out and draft another receiver. But in terms of like a draft trade, pick 19 or one of our – we could trade two-thirds and move up into the second. But, hey, click tune for the uh, mock draft coming up. Let's go to Daniel. What up, Daniel? Should the Raiders trade up for Isaiah Simmons for two-third rounders? All right, so basically Isaiah Simmons and two-third rounders, I think is what you mean. Um, if it's pick 19 – and two third rounders and Isaiah Simmons, I personally don't do that. I think you can get Isaiah Simmons for 19, a third round, and a fourth round. It's tough, though. I, I mean, actually, you know what? To get Isaiah Simmons for that is something I would do. I was thinking you had to invest in 12. The only way you're getting Isaiah Simmons is if you use pick 12. Like, if it's pick 12 and two third rounders, that's something that they would consider. But 19 and two third rounders, I think NFL teams say no. Let's go to Manny. Manny and Daniel. Twins. I don't know. You guys know what to do. Do you think Corey Littleton will live up to the hype? 100%. I, I'm not even kind of worried about Corey Littleton because if you go watch his tape, this dude is a football player and he's just a hardworking guy. Like, for you to be an undrafted free agent in 2016 and really just work your way into a role for a team, I think that does really tell a lot about a player. Now, I do think Wade Phillips had a lot to do with that. I think Wade Phillips is a great defensive mind, and I think the Rams had a lot of talent. But something you can't teach, and it's going to be super cheesy, it's hard. And Corey, like, he's got it. He's an unbelievable defender. I can't wait to see what he looks like in some silver and black. Let's go to Joey. What up, Joey? What you got for me? How much of an impact do you think Malik Collins makes this season? I think he makes in terms of, I'm trying to think of, like, trying to think of a Chucky head rumor for – impact i think it's two chucky heads uh, i think he's our third best defensive tackle as it stands right now i still think mo hurst and i still think pj hall are better defensive tackles but if you just want to think about this let's say in like in a pff state of mind now again pff isn't the end all be all but at last year out of 114 defensive tackles malik collins 
he actually ranked as the 65th best. So that's like middle of the pack. I think Malik is going to add a lot of experience in terms of what Rod Marinelli wants. And I think being a player coach at such a young age is a good idea. Plus, it's a one-year prove-it contract. So if Malik wants to come back next year, he's going to have to prove it. Go to tag off Deerip. Um, what are the chances the Jets take Lamb at number 11? Does Judy and Ruggs even compare? Oh, yeah. Like, guys, for me, it's like I just think CeeDee Lamb is here and Jerry Judy's here. And the reason why I have CeeDee Lamb higher than Judy is because I actually think Lamb fits our offense a little bit better than what Jerry Judy does. Like, if I got to take Jerry Judy at 12, I'm, I'm great with that. I think Judy, uh, I, my comparison for him is Greg Jennings, where a great route runner, very athletic, is going to do exactly what you need. I just think CeeDee Lamb's ceiling is a little bit higher, where I think Jerry Judy's a little bit safer. And then Ruggs, I think Ruggs kind of gets an unfair comparison of he's just a speedster. Like, that's not true at all. Like, Ruggs can do a lot for a football team, and he can help even with special teams. Personally, I don't know if I want him back on special teams because I want him to be that number one receiver for us. But, I mean, if we get Jerry, Judy, and Ruggs at 12, do I want Lamb? Yes. But Jerry, Judy, and Henry Ruggs are both very, very talented football players. So, as I mentioned in the beginning of the show, we're doing a giveaway. And it's for only people that are subscribed. So, I got producer Alicia, producer Brett. They're in the background right now. And if you want to win a Raiders face mask, type sub. We're going to pick one random subscriber and one random person that types sub. They're going to let me know in my ear. We'll show you up on screen. And then it's as easy as that. So if you want that Raiders face mask, type sub. Okay. These are from RaiderNationStore.net. They're one of my good friends, one of my uh, old subscribers, subscribers, viewers. Also, the shirt, also from them. They used to sponsor the show a lot. So, shout out to my guys, RaiderNationStore.net. So, if you want to win this face mask, unfortunately, Josh doesn't come with it. So, no Josh included, just the mask. We're giving this away right now. So, type sub. I'm looking here on YouTube. Let's see who's here. There's a lot of people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I see a few people typing sub. Do we have a winner yet? We're getting close. They're saying, hey, we need more subs. We need more subs. So if you're on Facebook, jump over to YouTube real quick and type sub. <laughs> Do it. So we got the winner, and it is Jum Rule. All right, so Raiderville 13A, you are the winner of the Raiders face mask. What you need to do is DM me on Instagram, at MitchellRens365. You have 24 hours to claim your mask. If I don't hear from you in the next 24 hours, you are not going to get a mask. I'm just going to give it away on fi or on Instagram then. Cool. So congratulations to Raiderville 13A. And if you didn't win, luckily for you, there's another giveaway coming up here in a little bit. And I'm doing giveaways the entire, the entire month of April.